back guys and congratulations, you've set up your bill fodl. Now it's time for part two, 25th word protection. Now I mentioned in the intro, this is sort of like a hidden wallet inside of your hardware wallet. So I want you to imagine a scenario. I want you to imagine that you are asleep soundly in bed, having sweet dreams, and you're laying next to your spouse or significant other, and you awake to a shadowy figure standing over you with a gun to your face. And the shadowy figure says, I know you have Bitcoin here, take me to your wallet and transfer me all of your money. Well, you're in a bit of a pickle here because as long as he has the gun, he has all the power and he can take all of your money. Now, this is a different version of a story of a $5 wrench attack where someone just comes up to you and buys a $5 wrench and then threatens to beat you with it if you don't hand over all your Bitcoin. And if that's the case, then all of that cybersecurity you did was for nothing and all it took was a $5 wrench to take it from you. So what you'd really want in this scenario is, is plausible deniability. You want to have an account to show him that doesn't really have very much uh, crypto in it. Uh, and the rest of your crypto, the majority of it, is hidden somewhere else. And this gives you plausible deniability to say, look, I just don't have that much. You, you can have this, though. And then he gets away with a small amount, and he walks away feeling defeated, and you really come out on top. Well, I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. Something to keep in mind when going through this process. It's going to ask you, or at least your wallet software is going to ask you, to come up with an, another word. And this word is going to be one that you make up. It's not going to be part of the BIP39 word list that the other 24 words came from. This is only going to exist in your head. You shouldn't write it down. You absolutely should not write it down because then if someone finds your phrase and they find that word written down, then, well, it's going to kind of defeat the purpose of having done all this. Now, if you forget the word, you will lose all of your money tied to that wallet if you need to recover in the future. You will not have access to it. So this is a, a, a buyer beware type situation. And obviously, we at Bill Fought on Deciphered cannot be held responsible for lost funds. Whether or not you set this up correctly, you know, we, we never know what's going to happen if there's a, a bug in the software that just make something not work the way it should. So uh, this is something that you need to move forward with, with caution. Again, we cannot be held responsible, but we are gonna show you how to set it up. And if you can do it successfully, and we think you can uh, with this tutorial, then uh, it's really going to add an extra layer of security and give you peace of mind uh, in case that $5 wrench attack happens to you. So with that, let's get into it.